Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Marcus and today in this video I will share with you how to design and animate this kinetic typography using Adobe After Effects. So let's go. So let's start. First thing, let's set up our composition. I'm going to name it kinetic type 22 and I will make it 1080 by 1080. 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration and press OK. Great, now let's select the type tool and let's write something. I'm going to write Glide, make the text a little bit small and center align it in the composition. Now with our text selected, right click and choose Precompose. Now let's give it a name to our precomp and select Open New Composition. Now using the Region of Interest tool, let's make a selection around the text. And when we finish that, let's go back to the composition and select Crop Comp to Region of Interest. Nice. Now let's go back to the main composition and with our type of precomp selected, let's go to Effects, Stylize and select Motion Tile. So the first thing we want to do in this effect is increase the output width and height until we fill the composition with text. Cool. Now let's move the timeline lintel to the first frame and let's mark a keyframe on a tile center. Move the timeline needle to the last frame of the composition and change the second value of the tile center. I'm going to use 2242. This was a value that worked for me in terms of speed of the animation, but feel free to adjust if you want it faster or slower. Nice. Now let the phase rotation be 180 degrees for a nice tile effect in our repetitions. Cool. With that done, let's press R to open the rotation property of the layer and let's rotate it minus 25 degrees, making it diagonal. Awesome, let's right click over the layer tab and let's make a new adjustment layer. Let's go back to effects and let's go to distort and select wave warp. And on the wave warp settings, let's go with wave type circle, wave height 60, wave width 140 and the wave direction 160 degrees and the wave speed at 0.5 let's give it a little preview and it's looking great you can always adjust the values to your taste but that's basically it I really hope you enjoyed this I know it was a quick one I'm trying to make different lengths of tutorials so there'll be like some long ones and some very short ones anyway I hope you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments, don't forget to like and subscribe, check my other kinetic type tutorials, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye bye.